Hey there YouTube, it's Matt Bowler with a trading card purchase pickup from Sports Cards Junction in Wexford, or near Wexford, Pennsylvania, something like that, Sports Card Junction. So, yeah, I went there and with my buddy Brian and we uh, checked it out and, well, I picked up 10 $1 cards and then these were his like random box, they're random boxes of game used and autos which are $4 a card or four for 10 or there are $2 each if you bought 25 so I picked out 23 cards and then was like, well, it'd be crazy for me not just to buy two more. <laughs> Save money, actually, at that point. So I did. So I got 23 of the game used in autos, and I got 10 of these $1 Pittsburgh cards. So we'll start with these first. But, you know, everyone's got an opinion on the types of stuff that stores have. It's a smaller store, but it's got a lot of stuff in there. So, you know, if you're around and just want to check it out, go for it. So first thing I picked up was this Dick Grote because he's really good at TTMing little talk archives card and I'm pretty sure I have some of these Kevin Newman's but picked them up anyway because it looks really really nice nice Bowman Chrome Kevin Newman's that's a nice looking JMO that's a cool card all right so then uh Steelers I got David DeCastro rookie I know I don't have this one at least I'm pretty sure I don't have that one I mean, I don't think I have, like, hardly any Brett Kiesel cards, so, well, I got that one. I mean, is this worth a dollar? I don't know, but that's okay. I got, just like Alejandro Villanueva, I want cards of him. I don't think I have that particular one. Mike Wagner is awesome at TTMing, so, yeah, there was just 10 $1 cards. So, the more interesting ones, <laughs> I mean, I just hit bargain bins. I was there for a while, hitting up the bargain bins, so we'll just start them off here. We got the Jason Bay. In hindsight, I probably should have just picked up a couple more of these. <laughs> Real, I, I think I should have. and But I picked out two other random ones. I'll, I'll call them out once I get to those because I picked out 23 originally. Got the Jason Greeley. My buddy Brian picked out the other one. The autograph bubbled just a little bit, but it still looks pretty sweet. His autograph don't look like that anymore. Jay Happ. Man, it would have been nice if the Pirates would have kept that guy. Jung Ho Gung. This was one of the ones I went back and picked out because I needed a 24th and a 25th. So that was the 24th card. J.R. Murphy, who I think was a non-roster invitee for the Pirates for spring training. I don't even know. But I picked up two of them. I mean, they're numbered cards, so why not? Yeah. Here's a Chris Stewart rookie auto. Sweet. There's a Jose Tabata relic. There's a Jose Tabata auto. And this was number 25, the 25th card I just picked out. J.D. Drew, one of those old relic cards from, dang, this was probably like 2000. This was like when relic cards, yeah, 2001, back when relic cards were still starting to get just a little bit on the popular side. And uh, now they're everywhere. All right, we got Matt Garza, who I'm not a fan of him, but, you know, that's a first-year Topps Chrome on, I mean, that's auto, I almost said on card. <laughs> well, it's on a sticker, which the sticker went on the card, if that counts. Adrian Gonzalez. I really like these holiday cards. I really do. Especially around Christmas time. You see those cards, it just makes you feel good. But, yeah, Craig Kimball, pretty darn good pitcher. And, you know, I'm not that big of a Jonathan Papelbon, but this was from the 2006 All-Star Game, which was in Pittsburgh, so yes. This card was a little bit dinged up. You can see along the blue border on the left here. But it's a duel of Mark Pryor but in the numbering. It's like, wait, why? how can I not pass up number 8 of 25? So, um, yeah. So we got, like, the wood from the bat, and then... I'm not entirely sure. It's like a leather. I'm pretty sure that's glove. Well, I mean, that's why it's leather and lumber. I, I guess that's, yeah, obviously. All right, so we got John Allerud. All right, that was it for the Pirates and then the baseball. So now we're on to some football. We got Martavis Bryant, <laughs> autograph rookie. So I paid $2 for this card. It's like a mini version, too. So, I mean, it's not numbered or anything, but, yep. Jonathan Dwyer, Topps Chrome. That was a rookie card. There we go. Slash Cordell Stewart jersey. 
Marcus Wheaton. There were two of these. Uh, this one and a different one, but I just like the big old patch. Thought that was pretty cool. D'Angelo Williams. Doesn't really look like the D'Angelo Williams I know with the hair. <laughs> That's cool. Jared Zabransky, whom not just because he was a practice squad quarterback or for the Steelers, but uh, man, did they have an epic run with Boise State. So, heck yeah. Tuka Rask. So now we're into the hockey. There's one more hockey. <clears throat> P.K. Subban with some penguins in the background. I'm sure there's some penguin fans out there like, why would you get that? Well, he's pretty good player people be like he's a pain in the butt well yeah that is too so is patrick hornquist and we love patrick hornquist <laughs> i do and then my last one i forget his first name lawrence lawrence levy marlins man. he's marlins man so uh he did have some ttm success way back when so that'd be a really cool card to get signed by the guy so hopefully he still signs ttm that'd actually be really cool for my collection all right folks hope you enjoyed it that was my pickups from Sports Cards Junction down near Wexford area, Wexford, Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think. As always, feel free to give my video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.